Hey Capricorn, welcome to Good Witch Intuitive Tarot. This is your reading. This reading's for Capricorn. It's for anyone who's guided to see the Capricorn reading. It's for um, anything could come out during this reading right till the very last second. As you guys probably already know, the most of you who watch this channel all the time. Um, sometimes I come back on camera at the very end and have special messages for people. It just happens after I click off for whatever reason. If you could hang out for just a second or two at the end, you could get special messages. Sometimes that has something to do with the reading. Sometimes it doesn't. All right, let's do it. Capricorn reading for anyone who is guided. This reading could resonate now or later on. And you do not have to be a Capricorn to resonate with this reading. You could be a cross watcher or anyone else who's guided. Okay, we got building blocks came out in my hand. We also got happy, happy, imagine. And at the bottom we have Yang taking an action. So these building blocks are you taking an action towards something you've been thinking about doing. So whatever you're thinking about, this would be actually the time to take that action. Happy, happy, baby. Look at that. What a great card. That's one of the best cards in the deck. So Whatever this is that you're going to put an effort towards to build on your future, build to your business, build to your life, to your relationship, whatever it is, whatever you're building towards, you've been thinking about this and this action is exactly what is perfect for you. And at the bottom, even though we already had Yang, we also have clean it up. This to me is part of this taking an action. Building blocks, Yang, clean it up. Action, action, action. All right, cannot wait to find out. This, oh, I'm so sorry. This was Wisdom of the Oracle. We're also using the Vice Versa Tarot where the side we see will be the side that I read. So whatever side hits the table is the side I'm gonna read. Celtic Universal. And then we're gonna go all the way over here to the After Tarot because this is a two week reading next two weeks. All right, Spirit and Angels, anyone for the highest good. For Capricorn, for the next two weeks, what do we need to know? If you guys have not caught your monthly readings, my God, you're missing out. We have uh, the December end of the year monthly readings, and we have the January beginning of 2024 monthly readings. Some of these readings were mind-blowing. If you get a chance to watch them, I will put... At the end of this video, I'm going to put the New Year readings, the January 2024, and then at the end of that reading will be the December 2024, I believe. I, I'll double check, but I'm pretty sure I have attached that reading to the end of those readings. So anyway, at the very end of this video, you will see it pop up on your left-hand side, okay? I don't know if it'll be at the top or the bottom, but it'll be there. All right, spirit and angels, anyone for the highest good. Happy, happy, imagine building blocks, yang, and clean it up. Something you're thinking about taking an action on, Cap, it's going to really send you into a happy, happy energy. Beautiful. It's like new because she sits on top of an egg. And if you look really closely, there's like a face inside that egg. This is like a rebirth or a renewal or something brand new. That Something that you will, and it could be something old that you're refurbishing, right? And I don't know where that came from, but it could even be, you know, something, some kind of energy you put into something really pays off uh, in a very positive way. Happy, happy. All right. What do we need to know here, please? Capricorn reading. What do we need to know? Capricorn reading. Okay, there it is. Uh, the Knight of Pentacles, the Ten of Wands. Woo! So this is something you will put a lot of work into. That is your central issue, or you have been putting a lot of work into. All right, the Seven. Uh, yeah, look at this. All these wands you have been, or you will be, striving towards something, and it is going to pay off. Intuitively, you look. Imagine. And the moon with the eclipse right there. See how the moon is feeding her brain? Whatever it is that you're being sent, this information is coming straight from spirit, God, universe. So you keep thinking about it because it's being purposefully sent to you. Yep. And it has something to do with a leap of faith you will take that puts you on a whole new path. All right. Two wands right there at the bottom. Right behind that, you've got that eight of wands. So this could come all of a sudden. I mean, the towers behind that, this could be really sudden. I mean, look at these energies. Wow. This is a really rough looking tower, but I really feel like this is about you going down a new path. Like you're going to pull that tower down yourself, I feel, and you're going to choose this path and it is the right path for you. Um, I feel like, and this even could be you 
taking all these wands and throwing them off your shoulder and people are like what what do you mean you're not going to carry the burdens anymore and look look at the ace of wands you got all the explosive sides i mean like boom out of nowhere but it's not really out of nowhere because imagine and the uh moon here that has that eclipse right there in it uh, this is you eclipsing something out so that you can have your brand new beginning. Look at that. The fool right there getting ready to go on that new journey down that brand new path. What a great energy. Two of Wands, full, ready to go. This is your central issue, that Ten of Wands. Seven of Wands holds their own. All these wands coming at them, but guess what? You're the one, you're the king of the pile, you're the queen of the pile, you're he, she, they, doesn't matter. Anything I say that's he, she, or they, I'm just reading pictures, please feel free to flip it, twist it, tweak it in the way that it works for you. We have the um, this knight of pentacles here, beautiful energy of something. I really do feel this is stability coming in for you. When you go down this new path, on this new journey, this is something you have been thinking of, but it's not just you thinking of it. Spirit's been sending you this information and all of a sudden, boom, action. You take the action and you decide to do it. Let's find out what it is. Celtic Universal Tarot. Remember, we're also going to go all the way over there to after tarot. Any storyline could come out during this reading. Multiple storylines, multiple different messages for different people. You know, whatever. I don't control that end of it. It just happens, okay? All right. Spirit and angels, anyone for the highest good for Capricorn, what do we need to know? What are the messages? Capricorn reading, what are the messages? All right, let's take a look at the central issue, that Ten of Wands. What do we need to know there? Ten of Wands, Nine of Cups in the reverse. Absolutely. Whoa, is there some, I thought there was another card behind it for a minute. Okay, so we've got the Nine of Cups in the upright. You know, this is something you really want, but those wands have been holding you back from your wishes, your hopes, your dreams, your happy, happy, right? So something that you really want has been weighed down by those wands that you've been carrying around. Let's see what is happening here. I want to know what this is that's happening. Tower, eight of wands, ace of wands, two of wands. It's like, boom, out of nowhere. And you are on a whole new path. Tell me about the ace of wands with the eight of wands, the tower and the two of wands. <laughs> oh my God. Absolutely. Absolutely full speed ahead. Look how fast the chariot goes in this deck. You are full speed ahead, but this is going to come with something. I feel like all of a sudden it's going to hit you and you're just going to go. You are going to go. Look at the bottom of your deck. These are reversed, but you've got the judgment and look at how all the spirits are saying, go, go, go. Come on, Cap. You got this. Go. Your new beginning awaits your Ace of Wands. These are both sitting here at the very bottom in the reverse. These, This is whatever it is you think about doing, but you haven't acted on yet. But you are being fed information straight from your guides, straight from your team. Let's look at it. Tell me about this beautiful moon with the eclipse on it. Tell me about this. What is, and you know, I almost want to look at these two together. Tell me about the moon and the full together. This is like you get the message, you get the memo, and all of a sudden you are off to the races. The moon and the full, please. What do we need to know? What are the messages here? Three of Pentacles, Ace of Cups. Wow. Excellent energy. This is your new beginning. This is where they want you to put your effort. Uh, look at how, you know, these three of pentacles are coming straight from the universe. Look, this guy, this person, he, she, they, arms wide open, ready to receive something from spirit. For what? All the work they put in. So this really is spirit saying, if you're going to put your efforts in, if you're going to go on a journey, if you're going to carry the burdens or the weight of something, at least do it in the direction of your new beginning. This is your destiny. And the only thing holding it back are these 10 wands holding you down, keeping it in the reverse. And this is what your entire reading is about. Once you've dumped these burdens, you are in the Ace of Cups, 
You are in the full. You have eclipsed out that past and you are full speed ahead right towards your new beginning. And it comes out of nowhere. I mean, but it really hasn't come out of nowhere. You're going to make this decision like that. And you're going to be on a new path. This is really about you deciding this. You're going to take that action. Amazing. All right, let's look at the Seven of Wands, please. What about the Seven of Wands? Queen of Swords fell right out of the deck. This really is about your clarity. This could be about something that you finally see. This could have something. This could be your very own energy. Could you be an Aquarius? You very much could be because you have all the everything point did you have the star why do i feel like you had the star oh it's the nine of cups okay i'm gonna look at this one more time can we look at that seven of wands you could be uh, a capricorn aquarius cusper tell me about the queen of swords queen of swords beautiful energy you're getting clear on something i feel it like whatever it is and you're gonna go for it seven of wands beautiful energy seven of wands overcomes anything they're up against and then no matter how much of it's coming out no matter how many wands they're on their back they're gonna win tell me about queen of swords please and the seven of wands capricorn reading beautiful wow and look at the seven of wands reversed so uh, you're not going to have to fight for this anymore and if you were at all blocking your own pathway or anyone was if this is a person who was blocking your path guess what that path is open back there even though you haven't seen it yet see how this person's blindfolded now remember the first thing i saw, i thought of when she came out he she he that it doesn't matter was clarity coming in for you this card is the four of pentacles but this is a very non-traditional deck my favorite deck of tarot by the way these are my two favorite decks of tarot the after tarot and the celtic universal tarot but see how this pathway is open back here this person hasn't seen the beauty right in front of them yet because they've been blindfolded to it so either something's been blocking your view i feel like the only thing been blocking your view are is the uh, burdens that you've been carrying is the fact that you can't um, you couldn't see it yet you couldn't see how beautiful the new path that's going to be when you go down this new path out of nowhere where you just all of a sudden full speed ahead like dun -da -da -da, <laughs> like look at the ace of wands it's like your new beginning starts and you are full speed ahead out of nowhere on a brand new path um, this happens it, the reason it happens is because some kind of clarity finally comes in for you and what you couldn't see is now completely visible where you're like, oh my gosh, the new path has been the way to go this entire time. It's where I needed to go. Let's look at it. Tell me about that beautiful Knight of Pentacles. What is this about? Knight of Pentacles. This could even be an offer that comes in out of the blue. If this isn't, but see, you, you do have that imagine card. So it makes me feel like this is something you've thought about. Maybe it's something you've imagined, but never came through yet. What do we need to know about the Knight of Pentacles, please? Yeah. Wow. Look at that. Look at that. King of Swords and the world more clarity of new beginnings more and if there's somebody coming in to offer you something i feel like they very much could be an aquarius libra or gemini um or this is your energy i feel for most of you this is your very own energy remember imagine so you go from this imagine i think about this i think about whatever this is and spirits like yeah we're, we keep sending you the message and we want you to get ready to put your efforts into your new beginning and get on that path that we're trying to send you down and this is gonna it's like gonna happen all of a sudden where you've been fed this information and now you know what to do there's the only thing that's been blocking you is all your responsibilities or or there's something about this ten of wands that's been blocking you from this 
destiny. And this destiny is going to be, it is your happy, happy. It's your nine of cups. It's your happy, happy. It's a brand new, beautiful path that you have not recognized yet, but you're about to king of swords, queen of swords, clarity everywhere. Queen of Swords sees the new path suddenly that she couldn't see before because there was a blindfold on. King of Swords sees that once I go into this wheel of fortune and change the energy here, I'm on my way. This has been a long time coming, coming in with that Knight of Pentacles. This really could also be something coming through for you that you haven't seen come through yet, but you kept following your gut and you kept building it and trying and working and you carried that burden and you chugged through it and you worked and worked and worked and worked even though nothing ever came of it or you really couldn't see what was going to come of it in the future, but you never gave up and you never stopped. In whatever area of life this is, this is the thing. It's like, it's almost like you've had a dream. Now, if this hasn't happened yet, it's going to happen. If you have had a dream and you continue to invest and invest and invest, even though you really didn't see any payoff yet, you're going to start seeing the payoff and it's going to, it might start like all out of the blue. All of a sudden you see that complete change. Now, remember, I have been saying it to multiple signs. I've been feeling this strong pull for two years now that 2024 is going to be the year for so many people. And it doesn't have to be your zodiac sign. It could be, you know, it doesn't have to be that you have to be a Cancer or a Libra or one of the signs I've felt it very strongly for. They're just signs who went through hell the last few years. Um, this is for anyone. We all have every sign in our chart, right? So you are a Cancer, you are a Libra somewhere in your chart, right? Uh, I feel like you are definitely, you have air in your chart. You, you have uh, Aquarius, Libra, and Gemini coming through very strongly in this reading. Could it be another person that you're going to build with? Yeah, sure, it could be. But you're coming through as a matching set if you are. But I feel for the majority of you, this is really your energy of this complete clarity of knowing I see it. I see the stability in it. I see this wheel finally turning for me. I see it. I see the stability in it. What I've worked so hard for seven of wands, 10 of wands, three of pentacles. This is somebody who worked their ass off their new beginning right there. What I've worked so hard for, I'm about to achieve it. I'm about to go right into it down my proper path that I couldn't see before, but I never stopped working. I worked and worked and worked. I took action. I cleaned it up. I built on it. I imagined what it would be. It's here. It's here. I've got chills. You guys have to let me know what this is. It is absolutely beautiful. The energy today is mind blowing. If you even have a speck of Sagittarius in your chart, please watch their reading. It was this beautiful and powerful, and I did it today as well. So if you can check it out, it would be a great idea. Just in case it could be for you, it had this much beautiful energy in it, really, truly. Look at all the readings, I mean, all the cards. I'm going to say it just like I said it to them. These mind-blowingly amazing cards are all in the upright. They're all in the upright. These, these are not, you know, in the reverse. These are in the upright. I read the cards however they come out. You've got mind-blowing cards. And this is um, the non-traditional. No, actually, this is the upright on this deck. It is. It's kind of mind-blowing. Three of Pentacles, the moon. I mean, beautiful. If you guys get a chance to watch that Sagittarius reading, I don't know why I feel very compelled to tell you that it could have something. There could be a message in there for you. All right, let's do it. Capricorn, what do we need to know? What are the messages? Capricorn, this is next step, guys. Remember, these are two-week readings. Last two weeks of the year, you're going out with such amazing energy going right into your new beginning, right into it. What do we need to know? What are the messages here? And, you know, we are all going into a new year together, so we're all virtually going into a new cycle like this. But you're going into it in such a positive, beautiful energy. What do we need to know? Capricorn energy here. What do we need to know? What's next? Next step, please. Next step. Wow, there it is. Your Ace of Wands. There it is again. What's next here? Absolutely. There it is. Brand new cycle. Brand new cycle. Eight of Cups. You're leaving behind whatever doesn't serve you in the old cycle. You're heading into this gorgeous, same exact 
exact energy exactly ace of wands on the wheel of fortune ace of wands in the world welcome to a whole new gorgeous energy cap comment down below please you guys let me know if this is your reading claim it if you want it it's beautiful this could be something that comes at you out of the blue but i really feel like this is you making some split decision and boom you are off i mean it's like it's like you make some kind of a decision to do something and it's exactly where spirit's been trying to guide you all along. Good luck, guys. Hope you have a blessed and beautiful holiday. Please don't forget that we have so many other readings out there for you that I have worked diligently on. Your end of the year monthlies for December, your beginning of the year January readings for 2024. One of them is going to be over here on your left and that one will have something on the end screen for you to go into the next one okay all right guys have a blessed beautiful holiday talk to you soon bye